Welcome to Healthy Dose. Learn to repair damage, replace key hormones, and regenerate your body. Get ready to take back control and reclaim your life. Now's the time. Here's your Healthy Dose. And welcome back to Healthy Dose. Dr. Joe and Dr. Buzz here. Give you some cutting edge information about healing and regeneration. I want to start the show today talking about the body's ability to self-heal. Healing and regeneration happens after an injury, and our bodies are innately tuned to do just that. About 80% of the time when we encounter an injury, the body's able to overcome it naturally on its own. But what happens to the 20% of the time that the body's healing and recovery factors lose energy or don't have enough energy for cells to complete the healing process? Well, we wound up with chronic pain, infection, uh, illnesses that prevent us from doing the things that we love to do. Um, Buzz, I, I, we were talking a couple of uh, weeks ago about w our topic today, which is pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. I know uh, it's a topic probably a lot of our audience isn't familiar with. Uh, honestly, we weren't as familiar as, as we wanted to be, but we experienced this about three years ago um, up in Tupelo, Mississippi. We went to see a friend of yours. Uh, you were doing some lecturing on regenerative medicine and, and birth tissue and its applications uh, for chronic injuries and athletes and, uh, and, and older populations where there's osteo, uh, uh, osteoarthritis present. And this doctor just put a bunch of things together and, and his results were amazing. Like people were coming to see him from, from different states and you know, we, we, we put all of our thought and energy into the actual tissue itself and you know, the body uh, needs signaling to get back on track. And we didn't put as much emphasis on the cofactors of that healing as, as maybe we could have or, or, or wanted to, or now we know we should have. Because when we combine these things, I can tell you, bringing this type of therapy into the office about two months ago, I'd say in 20 plus years of practice, it's easily in the top three best things that I've ever done to enhance what we're doing already. Um, pulse electromagnetic field therapy uh, does many things, including um, enhancing uh, cellular function, brings energy to cells, increases ATP proliferation, which means the body heals faster. It changes the permeability to cell membrane, more toxins out, more nutrients in, and on and on. We're actually going to bring an expert in the field in on this today. But, but before we do that, you know, I, I want you to take a second. I, you know, your son, um, 6'4", just like you, big, big guy, had a, a pretty significant injury skiing a couple of weeks ago out in Montana and unfortunately had uh, – a compound break in both of his legs, tib fib, and um, tell us about that and, and and your experience with 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 PMF, and and how that is you know helping get Blake back on the road. Yeah, it's a crazy story. So yeah, he was uh, skiing and you know basically whatever the injury that just happened at Tiger Woods happened to my son in both of his legs. Uh, we were in the hospital for ten days, and I'll be honest with you, in the hospital we were really getting no progress. He wasn't getting better. He couldn't even stand up. Um, and after 10 days, you know, we had to get him out of there, you know. So, you know, you slapped him in a minivan and we drove from Montana to Ohio, uh, 1,700 miles in 22 hours. So we uh, broke the speed limit a little bit, but uh, yeah. we got back there. And, uh, you know, you know, the uh, your, your Curtis will be on here in a second. And Curtis owns a company that manufactures these PEMF units here in the United States. Uh, he was kind enough to rush order, have it waiting for me when I got home. And, and literally Blake got in the house. We, we slapped him on the unit. And the, the results Blake has gotten, he's gone from not even being able to stand or do anything. He, he stood for the first time last night, you know, like the, and, and all the swelling when I was legs after like the second treatment, uh, just, just miraculous recovery by using just, just this unit alone. It, it's crazy. So, um, you know, I'm, you know, and I probably, I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have bought this unit this quickly if it wasn't for Blake's injury. Just, you know, I knew about it, but I knew, didn't know a lot about it. And I can just tell you my own kind of experience. So it's here at the house anyway. So, I'm, you know, of course, I'll try the unit out. And the crazy thing is, you know, when you sit on this unit, uh, we talk about you can use it as a diagnostic tool, too. So uh, in the past, uh, intermittently, I've had uh, trochanteric bursitis, which is like, you know, basically outer hip pain. And, and, it, and it comes and goes over time. And if it comes, I treat it with laser or, you know, grass and technique. You have other techniques to treat it, but, it, you know, it'll go away. But it, it kind of always comes back. The crazy thing as soon as you lay on this unit you can it, it, you feel it in those areas it doesn't hurt i don't want people to think it, it doesn't flare that injury but when you're treating you feel it like you're like oh man that's where that old injury was and i've, I've treated on it for four days now 
And now that I don't even feel it. So it's gone. So basically, you know, those cells are damaged in that area. That's why those injuries tend to continue to come back over time. And it really clears those cells out or those damaged cells out and gets them to the point, you know, that these injuries shouldn't come back like they were, you know, every three or four months, you know, in, in the past. So, uh, you know, and, and kind of we, you were talking about earlier, the only regret I have is we didn't put this technology into the office for our patients sooner. Uh, sometimes stuff happens for a reason, you know, obviously I you know, never want anyone to get injured, but, you know, I'm excited we have this technology and, you know, kind of the, everything you keep it in a perfect place. And I met Curtis and, and he's been helpful in this whole situation. I'm really happy to have him on the show so he can explain it and maybe do a better job than, than that has been done to me in the past. So people can understand the benefit of this. And, and at the end of the day, our body is nothing without energy and without electric electromagnetic energy. And if you have a tool like this that can increase the, the energy in your cells, obviously it's going to help everything heal better. It doesn't cure anything, but it goes back to that thing, getting your body to heal itself, getting you to heal like a young person again. You'll hear the slang, heal, heal like a Wolverine. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the slang you'll hear. But anything that you can do to help you heal better, and get, especially the, like you said, there's 20% of injuries that don't get better on people. You know, anything we can do to help with these type of things is, is you know, going to be huge. So let's so let's bring Curtis in. Curtis Ainsworth, we're happy to have him on the show today. California native, he spent uh, part of his career with Laker Airways, uh, went into technical sales, and now for the past twenty years, he's been working with several different scientists, developing medical technologies, medical equipment, and holds just numerous patents. Uh, his, his his primary focus now is though in the field of energy healing, uh, building affordable PEMF systems that with really unsurpassed results. We'll, we'll find out some of the major athletes uh, that he's working with. And, you know, like us, he strongly believes the future um, in non-invasive energy will surpass really anything else. Like we've spoken about, welcome, Curtis, first of all. We're happy to have you. Thank you very much for having me on, uh, Joe and Buzz. I look forward to uh, helping as much as I can get people introduced to the technology and uh, so that they can start their own investigations and progress in their health. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, Curtis, just a, a, a real briefly, the experience, we've, we've been fortunate enough to have um, a unit here in the office for the last couple of months. And the buzz will tell you that we're not just one-stop shops where we treat a patient once and they never come back. You know, we're treating people, whole body conditions that develop specific types of injuries, whether it's arthritis in a knee or, you know, partial tears, low-grade tears in a shoulder. Um, we do have lots of tools available to, to treat them, but specifically this, I'll, I'll give you the, the, what people tell me the most. We put them on the table first, and I'd say about 50% of the time, the energy that's induced in the body is exactly where it hurts. It's almost like a scratch that you could never reach. They, they, they finally feel like something is happening on that injury site. But as just as interesting to me is that I'd say 50% of the time they feel it they feel the initial interaction of the of the frequency entering the body in a completely different area than where their primary is, you know, and, and what I've explained to them, and I want to bring you in on this, is that your brain doesn't always necessarily communicate with the primary injury site the way you want it to, right? It's looking at something else that's maybe chronic and devoting some neural energy to that area where, in fact, we can channel that and maybe direct it to the area that's slow to heal and bring more energy into that area. So the results have been amazing in as little as one session and repetitive sessions. So can you speak to that point about really what this is, you know, different, different than a TENS unit where we're putting energy into the body, where this is creating energy in the body? Well, uh, microelectronics is, does have some benefits and you have TENS machines and you have other units like Skinar, Russian technology that was developed. Uh, for the astronauts, but they were, that technology is just designed to keep people alive. It's not designed to heal anyone. So we've interviewed the uh, actual developers of that technology that NASA had built. But uh, the thing is, people must realize that the magnetic field is the essential reason why you're alive on the planet and everything else is alive. That it's essential uh, to your existence and when we can basically multiply that, we can do a lot of prevention. And that's a, a key thing is that, you know, if an athlete recovers in that, even starting at a young age in high school, that he fully recovers and he doesn't have existing things down the line, uh, you know, in his career, 
you know, because I see a lot of pro players and I see a lot of, uh, you know, Navy SEALs and, uh, you know, Marine Marines in the same situation. They're all on disability, you know, by the time they're out. So what we want to say is that basically getting this potential energy into the cells, into the tissue is the key thing, especially as you get older and you can't actually get that into the tissue very well. Yeah, if you think about, you know, why we're slow to heal, everything's energy, right? The, the, we measure energy in the body. With, people may not even realize this, but the EEG, it's, it's measuring electrical energy in the brain, the EKG, me measuring the electrical energy in the, in the heart. And, and, and this is just, it's an area that's, that's misdiagnosed, underdiagnosed um, the majority of times as being a major component in the reason why people don't heal. Um, Let's take uh, 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 Buzz's son, Blake, for example. Wh why is this therapy so useful in someone who has, let's just say, a partial tear or a fracture for healing? How, how, how is, why is he getting better from using this unit? Well, and the first point I would make is that it's the technology is FDA approved for bone density, bone healing, and bone repair. Uh, in getting in my position, I don't get into a lot of specifics on individual things because I see it in everything it touches. So, and it could be a wrinkle on the face or it could be, you know, a person that needs circulatory help that needs a triple bypass. So it spans the gamut and it's just, you know, we want to make people aware that in using it in a practice too, like on the chest, you are putting energy into every, you know, every blood cell traveling throughout the body. And as a wellness treatment, I always recommend treating the torso uh, because that distributes, you know, the energy everywhere in the body. Buzz, it takes so, us, it, it takes us, uh, Curtis, to, to your point there. You know, Buzz, Buzz and I have done a lot of work with uh, prolozone therapy, ozone therapy, which is uh, even um, shockwave therapy, Buzz, uh, the purpose being to enhance circulation in the body to help blood vessels, blood vessels dilate, release more nitric oxide. I, I think it's fair to say that the more oxygen, the more circulation that the body, injured body parts are exposed to, the faster the body is able to heal those areas. Um, Buzz, t tell us, um, you know, a little bit about just your, your hip and, and, and previous treatments. You mentioned a little bit that you had done some grass and you're a bodybuilder, power lifter. You've given it time to heal. So specifically to, to, to you and how you how has it made you feel? Yeah, so, you know, I, I think anyone who works out can, you know, can, can emphasize with me. It tends to be where you have injuries in the past, and in particular soft tissue, uh, joint injuries, I, I think, a bit like tendinopathies or bursitis is, those areas tend to come back over time and, and you can treat them symptomatically, you know, we, you know, laser ozone, different things, and, and they get better shockwave, but they, but they do tend to come back. If you strain it a little bit, you know, I was working out a few weeks ago and, and did something a little heavier than I used to, you know, and the bursitis, you had bursitis the next day back in my hip. Um, and that's just because the cells there are damaged. It, it, you know, you know, you, you have damaged tissue there. And in this type of therapy that's going to increase, you know, circulation and decrease the inflammation is going to help those things long term so they don't come back. You know, and I said the crazy thing is, you know, as soon as I laid on there, I had the pain was gone. I had treated it with some laser and the pain had gone away. But as soon as I went on there, I could feel it. It didn't hurt, but I knew something wasn't right in that area. So it wasn't healed 100 percent. You know, I didn't feel it working out, but it wasn't there. And I, like I said, I've been using the unit for three days now. And, and last night when I laid on it, I felt nothing in that hip which is crazy, right? Yep. So, and, and I went to, you know, worked out this morning at the gym and, and did some squats and had zero pain whatsoever. So, you know, you know pretty amazing. I can also tell you uh, when you use a unit and, and you can probably attest with the same thing too, Joe, you have to have more energy when you get off there. I feel better when I get off the unit. You know, I feel uh, not like a caffeine rush. You know, I, I think that's the wrong terminology, but I just feel better. And I think a lot of that has to do with just the impre improved circulation throughout the body, like, like Curtis had talked about. You know, and it also makes your blood less thick. So you're not only getting vasodilation, but you're getting, the, you know, basically your blood is becoming less thick and you're just getting better circulation anywhere. And, and pretty much most of the treatments we do in our office, Joe, you know, ozone, laser, uses of nitric oxide pills, 
those are all to improve circulation. And anytime you can improve circulation, you're going to improve the body's ability to heal. Yeah. You know what, Curtis? It's like when you see Buzz in person, he's always been in great shape. And you can't get like that unless you have great diet and exercise. And this this is really like, can you imagine sitting down on the table or lying down on the bed and your and your cells are able to exercise almost the same way that you would physically to get in the best shape of your life? You're putting your cellular system, which improves hormone production and hormone uptake, androgen receptors. Everything is benefiting from this. Um, when you when you first moved into this to where you are now, how, how has the field progressed? I think you start you, you were telling us earlier that they've been using this for years, Kentucky Derby racehorses. Um, where, where there's there's no there's no ability to have a psychosomatic effect that you're putting something on you think it's better and that's why you're better. You started with this where the technology started in in the field of uh, veterinary medicine years ago, right? Well, you know, it's been in Europe for quite a long time. It was brought over here by Papini, and uh, basically, then the machines were very unreliable, needed service, and uh, you know, now I would say that, you know, our machine machines are 20 pounds, they're portable, they can run off a bicycle battery. And the one thing I want to talk about circulation is that the causation of some of this thickening is the inability for the cells to repel against each other. And also the veins, capillaries and everything, they start to collapse when they lose their energy level. So when we add the PEMF, what we are doing is we are actually not introducing a chemical or anything else. We're actually seeing those on a dark field microscope repel each other so that they can go into the, you know, the end of the areas and everything can get more oxygen, more of the nutrients. And this is a key thing why we see immediately blood pressures improve and a lot of other things you know, uh, you know, in our field. Uh, so it's circulatory system is key for the human body. And even if you, you know, had an injury in the shoulder or wherever it might be, if you were treating your torso, eventually it would get better because the energy potential is going to travel everywhere to your brain. So everything starts to get a common benefit, the opposite of, let's say, what chemo does everything gets a negative benefit whether it needs it or not so preventative is one things i see in men especially you know that weight lift and do other things they they believe they're invincible until they get older and like i say they all have an old injury that comes back and they can't get rid of it and they end up with knee replacements and hip issues and joint issues and you know, we've got special protocols that we can help you guys out with as well that that are tried, true, and tested to help those people at that age group that we need to address starting at 40 years old, I would say. You know, and actually I treat high school kids and uh, they need it uh, more than anybody because, you know, they're, even though they're injured, they're training every day. And, and this is a, a treatment that's that's very well tolerated, right? It doesn't require active participation by the patient. It's not physical therapy. Um, in terms of being painful, there really is no pain. You feel a pulse in or around the site that you're, that you're working. We, we, and Curtis, to this point too, I, I agree 100% with you is, you know, with Buzz and I, we're, we're treating conditions that, you know, the athletic injuries very commonly. And the reason that we're treating these athletic injuries to the neck, back, shoulders, is because the, the discs in the back, the labrums, the meniscus, hardest part for blood vessels are oxygen to reach, right? So we lose oxygen to those areas. The system weakens over time. The cardiovascular system is not as strong. Um, we're not, our cardiovascular endurance isn't as good, so we can't metabolize and remove waste as well. Um, so, so this is a complement to regenerative medicine, um, uh, ozone therapy, laser therapy. Have you, do you have practices that you're working with that are doing what Buzz and I are doing or using them as, a, as an add-on to therapies already? Yeah, you know, the uh, our PMF 8000 Pro, I've got uh, one practitioner from Sloan Kettering. Uh, he's a surgeon, and he has, you know, five of our units. And basically, he's doing everything from, you know, dogs and cats and birds and people and everything it touches. 
you know, it, it, uh, it, it, it really improves them dramatically. And we, we found a lot of people will spend more money on their dog or cat than they will on their spouse. So in that, when people see, hey, my dog is 15 and it's dying and like my sister's dog, for example, well, now it's 18 or 19 and it's fine. So the only thing that we've changed is diet and PMF and they get it on a semi-daily basis. And that's kind of thing we recommend for, you know, people over the age of 60 every other day uh, seems to be a better treatment ratio. And again, for your practices, a big market would be just people coming in once a month to get a treatment on their chest for preventative and just general health. And, you know, uh, we've had a lot of people, you know, they, they get their metabolism up and they lose weight. And then they start to feel better and all these benefits start to work together, circulation, weight, metabolism, like you saw with your energy level. It just starts to do everything better. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just amazing on a regular basis, uh, people using it, how, how they change completely. I mean, I've lost uh, 60 pounds. So I'm now about 160. I was about 230, 240 and an athlete, and I couldn't lose my stomach to save my life. But this actually affects your metabolism, so you don't desire to eat as much. Yeah, Buzz, uh, you know, to your to your point, Curtis, again, of increasing circulation by putting the pad over the heart. I know you were doing some work a couple of years ago, and still are. Um, I think it was with Ohio State or some of the athletes that had uh, chronic traumatic um, encephalopathy, and you know the, the the depression, the anxiety that goes along with this. And I and I know that they're using these units. Uh, sometimes as first line treatments for those conditions for PTSD, anxiety, depression, and I we, we again we'd be remiss here we are a year out, but COVID there's a there's a condition uh, long hauler syndrome where people are having uh, you know issues because forgetfulness, word recall, um, you know people who have functional dementia in the absence of family and friends poor environmental factors, not taking in enough vitamins and nutrients, th those conditions are accelerating. And still, there's parts of the country where people don't have the ability to go outside and, and, and interact yet. So if they if there is a, an ability to, to, to get in, in touch with someone who has these machines, um, there's benefit There's benefit to that, whole body benefit, right? A anything that you can do to put the body in a position where it can self-heal better than it, than it can without these therapies is going to be, be to their benefit doesn't replace good diet and exercise, but it's an add-on. You need this as part of your team. Uh, um, with, with, um, with maintenance, you said, Curtis, you said once, once a month. How about for, for you know, your, your athletes? I said you're working with some of the big league athletes right now, uh, like guys that we see on TV. How, how are they treating specific type of injuries like you know, shoulder strains or, or you know, knee injuries that, that may require downtime, but, but these guys are getting out there and performing in a couple of weeks? Well, I think the the way that we have to treat them initially is to make them realize that like with a joint, like with a hip, a knee, a wrist, an ankle, that you basically have to treat that like a post, uh, you know, like post-operational situation where you can stay off it somewhat and give it support for four or five days, treat it, and then give that time because people use their arms, use their legs, use their knees. And if you're still walking around or running three miles a day, you know, you don't see a mechanic chasing the car down the freeway, trying to repair it while it's running down the freeway. So we want everyone to basically take time to heal. You know, it, PMF is great, but the body does need time as well. And if you're still I don't know how to put it, still abusing that while it's in an injured state, you, it's just not the right protocol for that. So, uh, I remember Buzz, he's, Curtis, Buzz, one of the things that he speaks about when he speaks to doctors about regenerative medicine is, you know, all the amazing properties that these technologies have, you have to listen to your body, right? Buzz, if it hurts, don't do it. Yeah. If it hurts, don't do it. You recovery. can't drink, uh, you know, one of the, uh, when people say train through an injury, you can train around an injury, but you can't train through it, you know? So 
you know, if you have inflammation, if you have pain and you think you're going to work out and try to grind through the pain, it just never works out. So, uh, but, but, but along those lines, you know, with, with this technology, you know, we talk about it, it, there is no magic bullet stem cells, you know, laser, even, you know, not, none of these things by themselves is going to fix every type of condition, but they all work in conjunction. And, and one thing, I, the, the little bit of research that you and I have been doing, Joe, that really seems like when you're using this PEMF unit, it's essential that you also have proper, not, not only water intake, but you also good nutritional intake because it's bringing, it, it basically opens the doorway to the cell to bring all that nutrition in. But if you're still eating like garbage or dehydrated, it's really going to limit the effects of this. But if you're eating properly and taking a, I think I'd read somewhere taking a, you know, make sure your magnesium intake's proper, even melatonin and, but all your vitamins for that matter and getting those in, you know, this is going to open the cells up to absorb those. It's going to, you know, uh, 10x the, the benefit and i think curtis you had mentioned earlier there are even research out there that shows that people are taking medications and when they use a pmf they're able to take a lot less of the medication because the absorption of the medication is so much better i don't know if you want to speak about that a little bit yeah i want to speak about absorption because what they're doing to let's say senior citizens and getting them off salt and when you approach a quantum physicist about that situation that has a unit and does treat, you know, he's a medical doctor as well, and he'll say, yeah, well, the reason why uh, that, you know, the blood pressure goes up when you take in salt is because the heart is getting stronger because you're, it's able to hydrate. And that's one thing that we want to stress is we like people to put them on uh, electrolytes and uh, you find people taking a lot of water and some patients taking too much and they flush some of the minerals out. So we want to go ahead and make sure that they're on electrolytes uh, every day. And if they have diabetes, they could go on, uh, you know, something that's sugar free, but that hydration is a key for all the all that's taking place in your body and salt is essential and uh you know that will help you know on the diets that we have here in the united states are very good compared to other countries but it's extremely effective in other countries where they don't have fresh vegetables all the time and the nutrients that we have so uh you know, I would stress that as the most important thing, you know, we're focusing more on the patient and a particular patient. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we find people are on distilled water and getting away from, you know, which is very bad just to do that and not supplementing it. So yeah. that's such an excellent point, especially with people that are moving into the more vegetarian type diets, vegan type diets also and there's merit to those things, but they are, they are a devoid of certain nutrients and key minerals that, that, that the body needs to, to function properly. Um, along the lines of medication, Curtis, too, we, you know, Buzz and I, we have a portion of our practice that's de dedicated toward uh, sexual health, well-being and maintenance. And, uh, you know, I was reading, reading a study that, uh, and again, this is part of the non-drug solution to it, that, as you mentioned earlier, when the, when the, when the, when the cells don't have the proper energy to repel themselves, they get clogged together, metabolism slows, the blood vessels get sticky and don't open as, as easily as they should. The body loses nitric oxide, which is essential. That furthers that process of, 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 cellular, of um, uh, vascular dilation. There was a study that, uh, that I was reading that talked about use of a vacuum pump um, in combination with PMF therapy, um, whether it was simultaneously or the same day that the results were significantly better um, in terms of being able to maintain and perform for, for, for uh, people over 40. So have you had experience with that in the field of sexual health? Yes, you know, with, uh, you know, with males having prostate issues as they get older, uh, we've seen dramatic results in regaining performance. And, uh, you know, it's all anecdotal, I have to, I have to say, you know, but it's anecdotal for everyone that's used it. So mm -hmm. uh, want to make that point. But in ages up to 72, I've had my patients that I take care of not only improve the PSA 
and uh, basically get performance back at ages over 70. So, uh, yes, it's definitely, and when you have a, a marker number like a PSA score, and you can take it down 30 or 40 percent in a matter of weeks, that's something that is undeniable. Yeah, I think one of the cool things, too, about this technology, that, Curtis, you brought up earlier, I never thought about it, is, you know, a lot of these things, Joe, that we have in our office, if we really, what we should have done when we graduated school is see what the horse trainers were using, because the horse trainers have, you know, high power lasers, they have shockwave units, and they all have PM, you know, the PEMF units. So we should, you know, and, and, and the reason for that is these people are paying millions of dollars for these horses, and they need them to perform at their best. And there is no placebo effect on a horse, right? So, you know, these technologies, whether, you know, class four laser, PMF, shockwave, they obviously, if they work on a horse, they're going to work on people because there's no, no placebo effect. So, um, and, and you had mentioned, uh, and I, I know a lot of different horse trainers are using this. Do you have any experience, uh, Curtis, with horse trainers or uh, are people use these units, uh, your unit in particular, on horses? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm local here in Southern California, and uh, we've got four of the uh, PMF 8000 Pros over at Santa Anita with Tyler Surin of Equine Body Works. He's had it for over seven years, and I think this year we've got, out of that one Santa Anita, about five or six that are going to the Kentucky Derby. So, yeah, you know, it's – it's a thing to where we're expanding a little bit of that market only because when somebody gets a second unit, they try ours that are more economical and they like them better and they get to, you know, more cooperation from the horse because of the softer pulse. And it's, uh, you know, it's reassuring to see that, you know, the, the lower energy output units, that you see that are little plastic boxes with a pad, they haven't penetrated that market at all because, you know, you, you need, uh, like with athletes or with military or with race, you know, race horses, show horses, you need performance today. And like our units over at the UFC with Dana White, they need results right now, not tomorrow. And they need to get back in the ring or back on the track or back on the battlefield. Uh, we know we've done things for the recon Marines over Camp Pendleton where we have to uh, get them back in their uh, contest they have once a year in 30 minutes. And they do. And um, we hope that, you know, regular people can endorse this and put this into their practitioner. We have a lot of them that buy them and take them home because, you know, they have a situation where they're maybe in their eighties or nineties and they need it every day. And this is something that, you know, you can provide at an economical rate and, uh, and do a wellness situation where you have people maybe from their, you know, 50s to 70s coming in on a monthly regular basis, whether they're hurt or not, to do preventative work. And, you know, I want to also say uh, we've done a lot of things with, you know, COVID virus. I've been involved in some of the different virus situations in other countries as well. And with Ebola and different SARS uh, in Mexico. And we see the immune system effect of PMF, uh, like for myself or my son or my family, I've never, I've never had anything. I've never seen a doctor and I'll be 62. My son's 26. He's never, he's never seen, you know, seen a doctor, never had a cold or a flu. So this preventative issue for children is extremely important because they repair so quick. If children in a generative state they repair 10 times faster than a lot of times than adults do. So with athletic sports at a high school or before high school level, I think it's very important to keep those children pristine and repaired completely throughout their entire athletic life. And if they do that, you'll have pitchers pitching into their 50s or 60s. 
Yeah, that's, that's a great point. You know, prevention is the key to longevity. Um, we, we were, we were uh, when, I, when I was talking to Buzz about this earlier, we, you know, the, the younger the patient is, and this is not always necessarily the case, but, but generally speaking, the younger the patient is, you put them on, on this table, they don't have a lot of chronic inflammation, infection, or disease, and these waves just freely pass through the body. But it's the interaction of the, of the waves w with areas of the body where there's infection that really targets the brain and body to work together for, uh, for optimum healing. Uh, Curtis, I know this isn't going to be just a one-time uh, invitation to you. We'll have you back on the show again once we have uh, more experience with the unit uh, as well. Um, I want to thank you again. Like you brought us a lot of great information, um, you know, today about these units, and looking forward to hearing how you're progressing on your end with your athletes and your uh, and your soldiers in the future. So thanks for being with us. Yeah, well, thank, you, thank so you very much. I'm glad I'm able to, uh, you know, get some information out there. And like I say, I'm always available to you guys. You call me, and I answer. Thanks, Curtis. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you. Thank you. Really you. Much. So we have okay, Buzz. Bye -bye. Just take care. Um, just Thanks. great stuff, Buzz, right? I mean, yeah. um, I want, I mean, I I want to send a long time ago, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, but you know, we, we put our stake in the sand today and we go forward. I, I, I wanted to, uh, say thanks to a friend of mine, also a friend of the practice, David Fetterman from, uh, from Pulse Centers, because he's the one that brought it into our office and, you know, made it available to our patient base and, um, you know, just a little bit of knowledge that, that I've been able to take from him. He's a uh, vast information as well. And you have Curtis on your side. So we're bringing the audience, you know, pretty well-rounded uh, information and approach uh, to this. It's, it's really, listen, there's no panacea, but if you go, to, um, if you go into a, a situation where you're armed and you have something on your team like really sound nutrition, you have doctors that care about the physical body as a whole and they're interested in non-drug, non-solutions to pain or, or any type of dysfunction, and they have tools in their toolbox, you know, definitely take advantage of it because – we are living longer, right? Like the, the statistics show that measurably we're going to be here longer, longer and longer um, as technology improves. But the key to longevity is being able to be functional uh, while we're here longer as well. And this has just been a, a great tool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it, how it progresses with our practice too. You know, and same on your end too, Buzz. I, I, I can't wait for you to start getting this in, into the practice um, and, and seeing miracles like, like we have here. Next week. Yep. So, um, yeah, we want to, so click link, subscribe, um, in the, in the drop box below. Um, we're going to be, ha we'll have information for, uh, for pulse centers and also for Curtis, um, definitely want to make these machines available to, to, to doctors, but also, uh, you know, in, in, in office to the patients too. It's a, it's a great service. So, um, check in with us next week. We'll have more great guests, take another injection of a healthy dose from Dr. Joe and Dr. Buzz, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. This has been your Healthy Dose. If you enjoyed today's show, hit that like and subscribe button before you go. We appreciate your support. For more information, recaps on previous episodes, and to find out what's next, follow us on Instagram at Healthy Dose Show. Remember, repair, replace, and regenerate. See you next time.